And uh, speaking to CNBC TV 18, so that's a good uh, set of numbers. The loan growth is quite robust. They are maintaining a 20% loan growth that they've done in the nine months of this year. And uh, they're also seeing a good pickup in corporate loans. 30% uh, is the kind of growth that they've seen. Now, uh, Devin Choksi is still with us. Devin, this, is, this has become the darling of the market, right? The PSU banking space. But for some of these really small banks like Yuko Bank, uh, do you see a lot of potential for a retail investor or are you cautious here? So I think, Sonia, my uh, reading says that I think this is probably one of the best times for most of the public sector banks. In the previous year, the government has capitalized them. In subsequent period of time, I think the liability franchise has been managed well because of I think, improvements in the deposits, particularly saving deposits. Uh, in a rising economy, I think they are also having benefited from the higher offtake of loans, both from the term loan side as well as from the working capital loan side in the corporate sector and also in the retail and housing sector uh, included. So from all in all put together, I think on one side, uh, you don't have the enough, you don't have the significant amount of pressure, which you had, I think, on non-performing provisioning side. Uh, liability side is well managed. Uh, credit of tech, I think, mm. is well taken care of. So all checkbox, I think, are basically showing the positive trend going forward. However, and as the valuation-wise, I think these banks remain comfortable on the downside. I think the protection is already put to valuation. I were to buy them into the portfolio, I guess I think one will have to look at how the budget provides some clarity on consolidation of public sector banks. If I think further consolidation of public sector bank does happen, then probably it could uh, invite some serious money getting into it. Otherwise, I think smaller banks buying into the portfolio for a very long term, I'm not too sure whether I think that convinces me with that argument. Okay, all right. Uh, Devin, thanks for that uh, view. We'll just take a quick break and come back at about 8.50 or so. We have lots lined up in the next half an hour, so don't go anywhere. Uh, in a bit, we will, uh, you know, have uh, Anuj coming in to give us a quick trade setup. Post that, we'll bring you the top stock picks for the day from our technical and FNO experts. Before the market opens in CNBC TV in Stock Board, we will highlight all the top stocks in the news to focus on for the day.